Good morning, everyone. Today is a Tuesday. I thought I would start my, my full wear test of the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Set today. It's actually a super, super gloomy, dark, sad day outside. So the lighting's a little bit distorted. I'm trying my best here. But um, today I decided I would start with the Too Faced Sex on the Peach lipstick. And it's, it's really pretty. I didn't feel like putting on mascara or any eye makeup today because I'm actually going to a hot yoga class tonight. Just didn't feel like dealing with that. But love this color. Um, it's a little bit cooler than when I tried it on uh, in my previous video, which I will link up here. If you haven't seen my swatch video, you should watch that first um, or do whatever you want, but you can watch it here. And it actually looks cooler, but I think it's because of this gloomy, dark, cloudy, rainy lighting today. And um, it's comfortable. I applied a little bit of lip balm and a little bit of lip liner and then put this on um, because I just wanted to be comfortable for the day. Like for my swatch videos, I never put anything on underneath i just use the lipstick as is so we can get like the full true application but right now i wanted it to be comfortable for the day put a little highlighter here a little lip liner i really like it i think um oh it's kind of messy but i like the color a lot i think it's a nice a fall fall nude and obviously depending on your skin tone your undertones it's gonna look different on you but i will check back at least one time today to let you know if i can't check in throughout the day like middle of the day i will definitely check in at the end of the day and like I said, I am going to a hot yoga class. So I'm gonna use this Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm before that yoga class. I think I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna use this lip balm, um, this green AF lip balm before yoga. Cause I just like to have some, some lip moisture before I do yoga. So I think that'll be a good way to do like a double wear test today. Um, but I will check back and keep you guys updated. Good evening, everyone. It's uh, also Tuesday, it's still Tuesday. Um, I actually didn't get to yoga today. Like I said, this morning, the weather was really bad and uh, don't know if it got canceled, but I didn't make it there. So <laughs> I ended up just wearing that Too Faced lipstick and kind of took it off halfway through the day, like through eating and stuff. Honestly, uh, I know the lipstick lasts a good while. Um, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it just because as I wore it throughout the day, I noticed the color really was pretty cool toned and um, I don't know, I might give it another try, but color-wise, I like it, it's not my favorite. Formula-wise, I think it's great. It has a very offensive smell. To some people, I think it might be offensive. To me, it doesn't bother me that much, it's just a little bit, a little bit extra. So I didn't get to use that Kush lip balm today, but I definitely will use it um, sometime this week. Right now, I just showered, partially dried my hair because I'm lazy, I don't feel like fully drying. Greased up my face, oiled it up, aquaphored it up for the night, and um, decided I'm gonna use this Laneige lip sleeping mask and I'm really excited to use it. You can see it's very, excuse all this redness on my face right now, but mm, 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 it's very uh, greasy, which is how I like everything. And it has a slightly bubble gummy scent slash taste, um, which is what I think I was trying to get at in my original swatch video. I don't think I could pinpoint what that smell and taste was, but I think it smells like bubble gum. Um, it feels really soft and feels really moisturizing. I, I will update you in the morning when I wake up, see how I feel about it and see if it actually worked. But yeah, so today I did two in one essentially. So we'll try um, some more stuff tomorrow. See you in the morning. Good morning. I'm an extra mess, but I am a rested, <laughs> a well rested mess. Um, just giving you an update. It's about 8.30 in the morning and weather's gotten really bad. So uh, working from home today. So just thought I'd make a quick video before I start working and say that this was actually pretty Pretty impressive, my lips are really soft. It doesn't feel like there's really much product left on them, but they don't feel dry. I feel like it's like actually moisturized, which is nice. I don't like using like lip masks and stuff at night and then waking up and they are um, gone and my lips are drier than they were to begin with. So I don't think I got this from from the sleeping mask, Lineage sleeping mask. I think I, I, think I will mess with this. Uh, I think it's something I can definitely use and I actually really like it. Um, May or may not try it another night in this wear test just to see if I still like it, but I, I don't know. It made my lips really soft and I've been having weird chapped lips lately and I don't usually ever have chapped lips because I'm so crazy about like lip moisturizer and everything moisturizer, you know? Uh, so maybe that's what it was that helped. I'm still half asleep, so I'm just gonna go before I start rambling. Hey, me again. Um, like I said, today I'm working from home. It's still Wednesday, same day. And I washed my face, just kind of put a little bit of concealer on so I can lounge around the house, but still film this video and not feel like I look dead. Um, but I thought since today's like a lazy work from home day, just chilling, not really going anywhere, 
I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. I actually did use it because I didn't get to use it yesterday since my yoga plans were foiled. <laughs> um, I thought today would be a good day to just chillax and wear this. I put it on and I think it's actually feels thicker than the Laneige Sleeping Mask for some reason, which is very interesting to me, but really comfortable. I feel the slight minty tingle. That's okay, it's not a big deal, I'm not gonna be dramatic, but um, it feels really, really thick and like moisturizing and comfortable. Um, yeah, it's, it's odd to me that it's actually thicker than the, the sleeping mask that I used last night, but I think, um, you know, at the end of the day, lip balms are kind of lip balms, but they're definitely like some that are better than others, you know, there's definitely that range. But at the end of the day, like it's not a huge deal. It's a lip balm, it's clear, like I will use it, but um, I will keep you updated. I'll let you know like how long it lasts or just how I feel like it's working for me. At some point throughout the day, I can just check back in and let you know. This has been a pretty uneventful uh, wear test, but once we get to the lipsticks, the rest of the lipsticks, at least I promise this will be more exciting. Talk to you later. Good afternoon. It's um, still Wednesday and I'm finally leaving the house. We're actually going to see my mom in the hospital. And um, if you haven't watched my whole life update video, I briefly talked about it, but I'll link that right there so you can see if you wanna know what's going on kind of. Um, I thought, okay, it's raining like hell right now. Obviously I'm not driving, someone else is driving, my dad. Um, <laughs> So it's raining like crazy and the windshield wipers are running. So just kind of try to avoid all that white noise. But I decided to try on the incredible roller baby gloss, which TBH is not too thrilling. Like I said in my original swatch video, it's not that that incredibly exciting of a product for me. Um, I put it on now and I actually put it on top of some lip liner because like I said in that video as well, I definitely don't want to use it with no lip color because it would make me just look dead with shiny lips. And because I'm not wearing mascara, I just need a little bit of color to the face. Um, and um, that's it. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. I guess I'll check in a little bit later and see how this works. I'm about to eat a giant salad that I packed with me once I get to the hospital. So we'll keep you updated. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is currently Thursday morning. I just got to work and I wanted to show you what lipstick I decided to wear today. It is still super, super gloomy and sad outside. So I feel like I chose kind of a bad week to do this uh, wear test, but honestly, I feel like I'm too far into it right now and I can't turn back. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna just finish the wear test this week, even though it's supposed to be gloomy and sad and rainy all week long. Um, today, I decided to wear the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Very Victoria and I am loving it. It's very similar, if you saw in my original video, to the swatch from the Too Faced Sex on the Peach. It does seem a little bit warmer than that, and I'm actually really loving it, and I love how natural it looks. Um, it's just like a slight My Lips a bit Better nude on me. Obviously, it'll be different on everyone, depending on your undertones and whatnot, but um, I love it. Every time I use these, I'm just so excited because the packaging is so luxurious and so extra. It makes me so happy. But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in, show you what I'm wearing, and then also say that I definitely already like this better than that Too Faced lipstick because that one, I think throughout the day, I started to like it less and less. Um, it, if you saw my last wear test of the last Sephora kit, I'll link it here if you haven't. Um, it reminds me a little bit of what happened with the Anastasia Dead Roses lipstick. Different colors, but like also cool tone, very a little bit grige. And as I wore it, Throughout the day, I started to hate it more and more. So I think that's what happened with that one too. This one, I already am loving. It's very neutral on me, very um, slightly warm, but like just very flattering, very natural looking. And uh, yeah, I will try to check back in a little bit later today to see how it's going. And um, that Roller Baby lip gloss that I put on last night on the way to the hospital was really just not riveting at all. Like I really just took it off to eat. It was just a basic gloss. It's comfortable, it's nice. I mean, gloss is not really any, anything life-changing for me. And I actually don't really like wearing gloss very often. So, I mean, I don't really have much to say about it. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad. It was just, it was decent. It, it worked, it, it was a gloss. It just had a little roller ball. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Hello, so I just wanted to let you know it's nighttime, it's still Thursday. Um, I did wear Very Victoria all day long and it was really nice. It was really comfortable. The Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are very buildable, so they're not super opaque upon first application, but they're very buildable. So if you want to wear it kind of sheer, you can. You can wear it kind of uh, layered. I kind of layered it to build it up a little, but I didn't really overdo it. I think it lasted pretty well. They're not too drying. They're pretty like semi-matte. Like I don't find them like the mattest matte I've ever used. 
But uh, basically, Houston ended up flooding. <laughs> uh, first of all, the reason I'm in a robe is because I just took a quick body shower, um, did some yoga, etc. cetera. So um, yeah, Houston ended up flooding. I didn't get to check back in because I had to race home before the weather got too crazy. I'll insert some pictures here. We actually, once it was a little bit safer, wandered out to see what was going on around the, the streets, did not take the car. I just kind of like peeped outside my apartment and kind of went and looked um, with my friend, but yeah, so I didn't really get to check back in. I was I was like, oh my God, we're all gonna drown. So I wasn't really worried about uh, my lipstick at that point, but I think I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow just so I can check back at the end of the day, not having touched the lipstick and let you guys know how I feel. Um, or at least at the end of the work day, cause I'm going to a birthday dinner tomorrow night where I'm gonna test out a different lipstick. So I have a whole thing planned. Hopefully um, I can get to that and there will be no more flooding in Houston. So if you are in Houston, I hope that you're okay. I hope that your family and your loved ones are okay. Um, please stay safe out there because it's cray cray. Uh, but tonight I'm gonna reuse the Laneige sleeping mask. I've been using this on and off. Someone commented saying that um, they use it to prepare their lips for the day while they're getting ready in the morning. I've actually been using it for that too. So I really, really like this so far. I'm really impressed with it. Out of the, the Kush lip balm and the Roller Baby lip gloss I've used and the Laneige, this is my favorite. I still have the fresh sugar tinted lip treatment to go, but we will deal with that later. Um, so far out of the lip balms, this is my fave, but I haven't tried every single one, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so good night and I will check back in tomorrow. I just realized I never actually got video of me with this on, so there it is. The Laneige sleeping mask. It tastes like, smells like bubble gum, doesn't really taste like anything, but I like it. I don't see like the tint making a huge difference unless you really, really build it up, but it's really moisturizing, comfortable, and doesn't leave a weird film. I'm really picky with lip balms in general, so this is a thumbs up for me so far, but I'll check back in in the morning and let, let you know how it- Good morning, it's finally Friday. Um, so today I originally planned on wearing that uh, Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria uh, nude lipstick again, but I changed my mind. After the, the craziness of yesterday's flooding, it was very dramatic, big storms, it was really scary. And um, yeah, today I woke up and I'm like, I don't feel like doing anything. So really all I did was put on a teeny tiny bit of blush and some concealer on my face and did my brows. And um, I just decided today would be a good lip balm day. Casual Friday, I'm putting on the Sugar Rose Rose um, lip treatment with SPF 15. I did have to layer it quite a bit to even get this kind of color. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's not like, maybe it's because my lips are a little bit more pigmented that I don't get too much color deposit from just one layer. So I had to go back and forth a few times, but I do like that it has SPF, <coughs> excuse me, SPF 15. And I think that's nice because in the mornings I do sometimes layer SPF over my lip products just because I am crazy about sun protection. So I will um, maybe check back later today and let you know how it's doing. If not, I will just be back with a recap of what I thought. I already know I like this. It's not my favorite, it kind of leaves a film. I find it a little bit like, I don't know. I like them, but to me the, the rose lip treatment or the just the sugar lip treatments in general are nothing life-changing. They're good lip balms, so they're not my favorite, but um, the fact that this is tinted and has SPF definitely bumps it up a notch and puts it at the top of my list. I think just from thinking about it right now, it's probably gonna be the Laneige sleeping mask and then this sugar rose lip treatment and then um, Kush lip balm, I think. Probably the Roller Baby gloss is gonna be at the very bottom just cause I find it a little bit gimmicky, but also just not up my alley. I don't need gloss and I definitely don't need a roller gloss. So I will check back later. Hope you guys have a great day. Good afternoon, everyone. It is now 4.15 PM and we called it an early day at work cause it's Friday and uh, the weather's been crazy. So I just got home and I just wanted to update you. I reapplied this sugar rose lip treatment after I ate lunch today. And although the color's not gone, so I think that's really great. Although the most of the product seems to be gone, it's actually still very moisturizing and comfortable. I kind of feel where it left a little bit of a film. Like I can see it just cause it's a little bit thicker, but overall I think it's a good product. I think balm wise now having tried all four of the balms, um, Laneige sleeping mask, definitely my top fave. This sugar treatment was, is definitely the second favorite. And then the Kush lip balm and the incredible roller gloss, roller baby gloss. Yeah. I just didn't find that gloss very impressive at all. Um, and I mean, balms are balms. I know a lot of people commented that they just weren't thrilled that half the set is made up of lip balms and half lipsticks. Like 
I guess more people wanted more lipsticks. I feel like the utility of balms is at least pretty decent because you can always use them at night or use them under lipstick or in the winter when your lips are extra dry or whatever. So I'll, I definitely get use out of all of them. Definitely um, just have these two as favorites, this one and the, uh, the Laneige Sleeping Mask. But I do think I might give the Incredible Gloss away to a friend or something. I'm definitely going to keep this set to myself for a while just to keep doing videos and reviews, etc. And then once I decide what I'm keeping and not keeping, I'll keep you updated. But that's kind of my overall view of the balms. I'm actually going to a birthday dinner tonight, so I'm going to be trying one of the two lipsticks, um, the bold lipsticks that were in this set. So either the Sephora Red Velvet or the um, Fenty, I think it was called Flamingo Acid or something. Um, I don't know which one I'm gonna lean towards, but I'm gonna choose one of those tonight and wear it for dinner so that I think that'll be a great wear test because we'll be drinking wine and eating pasta. It'll be awesome. Um, so I will get back to you then. Good afternoon slash evening, everyone. Um, as promised, I am here with this red lipstick from Sephora. It's the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the color Red Velvet, number 96, and I love it. I love it because it's a little bit less bright and I like slightly darker, slightly more muted reds. Um, and this is the, the look. I'm wearing like a slit leg midi skirt and uh, some heels, some like strappy ankle heels and a little bun because my hair is messy and we don't have time for that. <laughs> But I'm really liking this color. My application was a little bit messy. I went a little too crazy around my lip line. It's okay, it doesn't really look that obvious from far away and or in dark lighting when people are drinking wine. Anyway, we're going to an Italian restaurant, so definitely gonna be lots of wine, lots of greasy stuff and lots of pasta. So I think checking in afterwards to talk about how this, how this lasted would be great. I already have a lot of experience with these. I know a lot of you that are watching do as well. A lot of people love these already, so it's really not a surprise. I, I'm kind of biased already. But I've never tried this color before, so I'm actually very excited to be wearing. <coughs> very excited to be wearing this color right now. Um, love the way it looks. Paired it with an all-black outfit. I think um, I am enjoying this look. So I will check back after dinner and let you know how that how uh, how this baby lasted through all that pasta and wine. Hi. So I'm back home now. It is about 11 p.m. and this is my lipstick post crazy greasy Italian dinner and red wine and Prosecco and cake and lots of stuff. I mean, I had risotto, I had crab, I had salmon, I had bread, so much greasy food. And I mean, the color's still there, so it's it's decent, but like the way that I ate, I really would, I'm impressed. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a mess. I mean, I was dying to reapply. I was dying to reapply, but I just wanted to stick it out for this wear test. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the post food era. <laughs> um, I think it looks decent for all the greasy stuff. I, I mean, oil wipes the stuff straight off. So regardless of what lipstick it is, but I think it still looks good. At least the color is still kind of there. It's a huge pet peeve for me when the center of the lip wears away. So I always will reapply when it gets to that point. But yeah, just wanted to show you how it was doing and I am going to bed because I'm exhausted. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning. It's about 11.30 and I'm actually Still in a giant sleeping t-shirt, but I'm getting ready to go to the hospital to see my mom again. So um, this is not the ideal hospital lip for me. I really wanted to wear something more comfortable, but it is the end of my wear test and I have nothing left to use but this. So ideally I would be wearing it for another occasion. Like maybe even work would be better than just like going to the hospital in this, in this lipstick, but it's okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the team. Um, taking one for the team and wearing this Fenty Beauty um, Matte Mademoiselle lipstick in the color Flamingo Acid. It's a gorgeous color, like don't get me wrong, I love it. I would just rather wear it somewhere else. Um, but because it's my last day of my wear test, it's Saturday, um, I thought let's just do it and see what it's like so I can post this wear test tomorrow on Sunday. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about it. I love this color, really love this color. I like the formula of these. They are just very matte and slightly drying so I don't reach for them that often. Also very bold, but I can already see myself using this a lot in the fall. So I will try to check back um, at least at the end of the day to show you how this is wearing. If I do get time, I will check in sometime in between, like if I've eaten a meal or something, um, but I will let you know how this keeps up throughout the day. I will talk to you later. Good afternoon, it's about 2.30. I am at the hospital. I know it's kind of a weird time to vlog, but I just thought YOLO, might as well just check in because I just ate a little something and had a little shake and whatnot. And this thing is pretty much going strong, even on the inside of the lip where last night you saw with all that greasy food it came off. Today's meal wasn't as greasy, so that's probably why it's still on. 
but yeah, it's still comfortable. It's not crumbling. It's moisturizing and um, seems to not be going anywhere. It gets on like my cups and stuff when I'm drinking, but looks fine. It doesn't look like I just ate and drank. So I will check back later at the end of the day and let you know how it has lasted. Good evening, guys. Um, it is, I'm panting because I just went up the stairs. Pardon the really bad lighting, but I'm still in the parking garage and I'm so exhausted that I didn't want to do this when I get home. So I just wanted to do it now um, because as soon as I get home, this is coming off and lanolin lip mask is going right on. Um, I just wouldn't ever wear a lipstick for this long without taking it off and reapplying. So it's just so dry. Like I think it has great staining properties, but look at that. Oh, my face is greasy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you can see how much it's worn off, but I think it's, it's put up a good fight. I had like four meals today with this on, so. I drink a lot of coffee, tea, water, etc. So I think, I think it's good. I will be back tomorrow morning. I'll do a recap where when I'm less delirious. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Overall, I like this lipstick. I just probably wouldn't wear it for this long, and uh, it wouldn't be like an everyday lipstick for me. But that's just because I don't wear bold colors on the daily. And yeah, so I will give. Oh my god, I'm still panting. I will come back tomorrow morning when I'm like refreshed a little bit and actually can think straight, and I will talk to you about my final thoughts about this set. So talk to you soon. Good morning, it's Sunday and it's the end of the week for my wear tests that I did. Um, so it was a five day wear test. I'm actually kind of uh, impressed with myself that I managed to ah, drop everything. <laughs> that I managed to put all eight lip balms and lipsticks in a five day wear test. So yeah, I'm happy about that. But I wanted to give you my final thoughts because last night I was so delirious that I didn't even know what was going on at that point. I was so tired. Uh, so the first lip balm I tried was this Laneige sleeping mask and I actually I really like this. I think it's my favorite lip balm out of all of the four lip balms that were in this set. I've been using it at night as an actual sleeping mask and then in the morning, kind of just putting it on my lips before I put my lipstick on. So while I get ready, this is definitely my top sleeping mask. Like this is my favorite lip balm out of the four lip balms in this set. I don't know if I would buy it necessarily like on its own, but um, really liking it and enjoying this. I know a lot of people that commented said they love this, so it seems to be a fan favorite product. The next one I tried was this Milk um, Kush lip balm, which really, to me, like sounds kind of gimmicky. Like I don't, I just, uh, I don't know. It's green, supposed to be all cushy and cannabis-y and like it's minty. I don't know. I don't really get anything special from this. It's not like bad, it's not good. It's just kind of neutral. I like it, but it's nothing life-changing. Um, let me know what you think about this because I really, I don't, I don't know, like in terms of a final opinion, I'm just so very neutral about it that I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. So let me know if, if you've used this, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Next is this incredible roller baby gloss. Um, again, I find it super gimmicky because it has this like little roller ball, which I mean, it's a cute name creatively. I think this is a cute concept, but just in terms of gloss, like it's not that easy to apply, especially when you have color underneath. I felt like it was getting everywhere and it was kind of hard to um, be more precise with your application because of this, but at least it's a clear gloss. It is comfortable and moisturizing. Again, it's it's sad because like a lot of the lips, lip balms, I feel like I'm very neutral about. I don't really have an opinion on them um, because they're just so basic. Like it's, it's just a gloss at the end of the day. So I don't know, I would have liked another full size lipstick instead of this, but YOLO. The last lip balm is the Sugar Lip Treatment, um, the Rosé color with SPF 15. I love this. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's great for just like easy days and like slap on and go type of thing. And it also has SPF, which um, if you watch my channel frequently, you know I'm crazy about. And I like it. Like I said, it leaves a little bit of a film for me, but it is really moisturizing long term. And I like it. I don't think I would purchase a sugar lip treatment full size, but as a mini in this set, I'm really liking this. Now onto the lipsticks. The first one I tried is this Too Faced Sex on the Peach lipstick, which I'm actually probably gonna give to someone. Um, it looks warmer here, but the more I wore it that day, the more I hated it. I think it has like slight cool undertones that just do not work for me and make me look dead. So I didn't really like this one. I like the formula a lot because I've tried this formula before. Um, just not a huge fan of the smell and not a huge fan of the undertones in this color. So it will vary for everyone, I'm sure. Let me know what you think if you've tried this. The next one I tried is the full size lipstick in this set, which is uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria. Love this, it's definitely slightly warmer um, and a little bit less opaque than that Too Faced one. Also a little bit more moisturizing and less drying. Love this one, I'm a huge fan of these Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and the fact that this retails by itself for $34, but this whole set is 42, I feel like it's kind of a, a good deal. But a lot of people, a lot of the discussion in the comments was about how it, this set isn't really that great of a deal because 
usually the $28 sets, like the normal give me some lip sets, um, have two full size products. So that's actually a good point. There are really more, just more deluxe samples and that's essentially what you're paying for. So true, it's not the best value, um, but I do really like this. So I'm glad I, I can at least get use out of one of the full size products in this set. The next one I tried was the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the color Red Velvet, number 96. I wore this on that Italian dinner night and I love this. You already know how I feel about the Cream Lip Stain formula, so I really enjoyed wearing this and don't really have much to say about it. But I will link um, my Sephora Lip Stain video in the description below because I did a swatch video from last year's holiday set. The last one I tried was the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Lipstick in the color Flamingo Acid and this was gorgeous. I wore it yesterday, it was my last day, day five of this wear test, and it's a little bit drying, but I just think like it's supposed to be like a plush matte and it really does make your lips look plush. Like it's so velvety and beautiful. So I love this. Um, I don't know how often I'll reach for it just cause the color is so bold, but it's beautiful and I'm actually really excited to use it this fall. Please comment below and let me know what you thought about this set, if you bought it, if you're buying it, whatever, what you thought of this wear test. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so I can see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day and a great week and I will see you in my next one, bye.